some glass paint, white glass shot. So as soon as that's all it's just showing it's too much, you know. How you doing, Jim? Not bad, mate. How's things? Aye, ah, okay. What are you up to today, man? Just been a wee protest on the first monster of Scotland, you know. It's uh, cover up merchant. She's covering up fucking Ibbon. And uh, all she's doing is rob the uh, public stupid. The public are going to boot with blinkers on. They can't see what's going on here, you know. I'm kind of glad I ran away to London at 15 because it fucking educated me. You could do and listen to the Eaton College boys talking how they're going to rip the common people off and that, you know what I mean? That's it's there, but, uh, she's at the fiddle, you know, that's where the fucking money off on. She's playing but the, her supporters don't see that, they're robbing the fucking people blind. What happened to the six hundred thousand pounds of the supporters' money, you know? My Gary, she get caught, you know what I mean? There's a lot of them fucking falling my pockets, you know what I mean? Quite a few of them get caught now, Jim. Oh, they're all fucking had to a lot of them. Where's Morris your, where's your he's, boat? He's staying to the death. Yeah? He's staying to the death. Sturgeon's uh, in the, the first stage of the lockdown, Sturgeon spent £25,000 putting carpets in Butte House. Come on, he's fucking peace. You know what I mean? And Boris, he had two furniture bands at, at number 10 yesterday to get collect his, go, his gold wallpaper. It must be some fucking wallpaper, man. Two big giant f big first furniture bands. You might to come in and I'll tell you my wee story about the, the bungle bang raids and all that. Who's that, Jim? Three keys, I've lost three keys, I quite bought them, but I lost the steering wheel from my boat, alright? When I was out, out of walk with a dog, it took me fucking how out to get half, I could fucking blow a safe clicker by the way, you know what I mean? That's the other part right there, but I've lost the keys, why do you need keys? If anybody in East Side Park Heed area finds the uh, it's one of these circle keys, yeah. but I've got two other keys on it. And uh, all there for is there for a there for a briefcase uh, container letter with Princess Diana, you know. So it's quite quite important that I find that key, you know. And as a reward uh, for them that finds it, you know. I think there's three keys on the actual bunch, you know. Uh -huh. Come on, There, there, there. Hey, come on. Hey, Princess, come on. Come on. Come on, here. 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 Punters like listening to these stories, but they're all fucking true, by the way. You know, it's just that people don't go out in the boot, John. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. They're stuck in your wee circle, and the government don't want you to travel, and the cops don't want you to learn anything anyway. All they want to do is fucking bully you. I remember the 10 years of raising the Calvin. I was up in this water, Roby's garage, right? And this big cop come along, mate. Fucking done. That's, that's why he's got a big chuck there, you know. Well, they've wrote in in the 1960s to bust, bust the gangs like the tongs and all that, you know. But what happened was, uh, I said, it's my cousin's garage. So I dropped down half a boy anyway, and he threw his fucking baton at me. And don't forget, I'm only 10 at the time, right? And I ran, I was running away from him. And I was skinting all my elbows and my knees, and my side and my face was all gripped. So my, my man and my dad took me round to Vegas. He said, I will get the officer on trip. Never heard of that fucking thing. I mean, but imagine th throwing a baton at a fucking 10-year-old boy's mm -hmm. legs, you know? And that's, that was my first fight with the cops, by the way. 
That's what put me against the police, if you know what I mean. Aye. But Aye, I'm not against the police. You can do that when you're young, you know what I mean? Right, uh, I'll tell you what happened, right? When I first went to Slough in Buckinghamshire, uh, this is a way back years ago, I had a wee Mini Cooper, and uh, I'm driving down the high street, and uh, it says going into Slough, the safest, country, safest town in all of England and all that. And it's, it's got all these speed resistance. I've never seen it. I didn't have CCTV in the days, you know. So I'm driving along the high street, and uh, the next thing, this jumps out in front of me. So I put the brakes on in the V Cooper, right? And uh, the truck running out of the M's run. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't say that, but that, that's the addiction of Doc Green part. Uh, is this your car, sir? Me. Uh, I wouldn't have been that if it was in my car. Off this upper, off this upper, and he went, I beg your pardon? I said, it's a Scottish accent, uh, accent off this supper. Oh, I understand, he says. So, uh, as I'm talking to him, John, I'm looking behind him, right, and I see his uh, Cooper's joke, joke shop, Tommy Cooper's joke shop. So I says, is that Tommy Cooper? I said, that's Cooper, the famous comedian's joke shop there in the background, you know. So he went like, do you know you've got a light out of the front? I said, well, I travel to Scotland and I'm tired. This is about one in the morning. And I says, uh, I'm, I'm just going down here looking for, for digs and uh, I want to bring me up for the night. I don't want to sleep in the car like, you know. Uh, and that's it, off for supper, right? So uh, out comes a wee black book. So you're taking the resi. Now, don't forget, in the days, John, they didn't have the, they didn't have the radio control where you could, they only the boxes, and the box must be miles away in the town. And they, they just took your details and they gave you a hortley, what they called a hortley, and then off you go. But I gave them a snide name anyway, so I was off anyway, you know. And mm -hmm. the motor wasn't registered because it was a scrapyard motor, you know. But what happened anyway was uh, uh, recently, this is me going back to the day, I seen a, 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 an advert on the telly there uh, two, week, two, three weeks ago, and, uh, and uh, it put me back to uh, something a couple of bungled jobs that I'd done years ago, you know, uh -huh. and uh, where, where it was, uh, what's that, that bird, that, uh, you've probably seen the advert, there's three birds in it and they're dancing in a field with flowers, uh, and they're, shout, they're saying, Daisy, 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 have you seen that advert? I have, you see the one in the middle, she's a beautiful looking lassie, the two, the other, they all look like each other, but the one in the middle, was the ringer for Kate, the lassie I, I went with, right, can I sit down now? Eh? Oh, I'll, you do, I'll get this fucking. Right. You might shut the bed, John, if you said he'll ever. Where are you, Batman? But what happened anyway was, uh, uh, this is a fucking pint of mine, by the way. The advert, you were saying? Uh, one advert and what? With three birds on it. No, that's what put me in mind of this turn. Oh, right, aye. This is a turn that I'd done years ago, right? But what happened? We used to go up to London. And there was a disco. Now the guy who owned this, he must have been a million years ahead of his time. What he had is he had about he had twenty odd tables and he had telephones on them. In fact, I've got one of the telephones and it's the old fashioned ones. And they lit up. See if you seen that somebody you fancied you wanted to talk to, you 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 buzz them on the thing and the light lit, you know. So I fancied that bird. Her, it was it looks like her in the advert, right? And what happened was uh, I'm talking away her, but I'd already danced with her. And she knew who I was like, no, I told her my name and all the rest of it and that. And uh, she, she worked as a bank clerk. So I got friendly, we were up there the next week and we were dancing away. The so hard, oh man, you know, that stuff, you know. The, 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 the early Motown, it was a kind of Motown place. But the disco was separated. Once you shut these doors, you couldn't, you could just barely hear the music. But you were in there and you could talk to whoever was on the phones at all these tables. Uh, to me, it was the first... The guy that done this was the first guy for social media. He had the great, greatest idea. I think it was an Asian that owned that and all, by the way. But what happened to anybody was, uh, I was kidding her on and that. I says, uh, uh, I says, Kate, I says, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to come in and rob your bank. And that. I said, ah, that'll be right. But I'm, I'm saying this over the phone and she's, she doesn't know it's me. But I seen that the light, the orange light going on her phone, so I knew it was her I was talking to. Because the orange light in my phone was lighting up too, right? And she says, that's you, Jim, I can tell. I mean, how, how, how can you say it? She'd be your accent, your Scottish accent, you know. So I was kidding her on anyway, but what I'd done was, uh, I went up High Street on a Saturday, right, and I went into Tommy Cooper's joke shop, right, 
and he told me a few was in there, right? And he, he's, he's, he's behind the counter and he's fucking jumping about. But when you get us a wee bell rings, it's an old fashioned shop, John, you know? And what happened was, uh, there's two guns in the window, right? And uh, the 45 is a bit bigger than this, right? And I, I get mine, man, he missed the old day for that turn, right? And uh, what happened was, uh, uh, Tommy Cooper comes out and he's jumping about the counter and he went and shouldn't come out. I said, Thanks very much. And I took it at Wrigley's. You take that at a spider jump, so you have you ever seen that thing? I'd never seen that <laughs> fucking spider club took up a bit. I fuck off. I said, Listen, I'm interested in the guns in a wig. I said, and, and, he, and he was a wee doing behind the counter, he's looking for a wig and he's brought the wig up and that. And he, he says, he goes out into the window and brings this gun up and he, he puts a pole. He goes down under the counter again, he puts a pole. So that he said, what are you going to do, rob a bank? <laughs> are you going to rob a bank? <laughs> and I went like, this is true, boy. <laughs> so I went like, he went like with a gun, John. He played the gun out with a went bang. And a fucking flag came out with a bang on it. A fucking head kiss. <laughs> so I went like, I put the gun out with a wig here. So what happened was, I dressed up with a woman, right? And uh, this bank, I'm not sure where it was, so it was up in London, so where the shoe works, you know. And I walked in and I had the wig going out of the lips, like that. But don't forget, John, you know me. When I was young, I didn't wear glasses and I had the bigger long eyelashes when, I was, man, when I was young, like. And I was the, I the kind of sallow complexion, you know. So I dressed myself up quite good, as I thought, and I had this, I've got a shawl in there, but you know, I'll not put it in, right? I don't want to get too womanised. <laughs> but what happened was, uh, I walked into the bank behind this kind of guy coming in behind me, right? And uh, uh, the next thing, Kate, I'm walking towards Kate's teller, right? I'm walking towards her teller with the, with the wig on her and the lipstick. <laughs> and she turns around and looks at the pal and the two and fucking burst out laughing. And I just about turned out the fucking bank. And I banged out the guy and the guy went, hey, mate. I went up out the door. And I jumped, ran the back of the bank and I jumped into the mini cooter. The fucking thing with the start, right? Oh, for fuck's sake. So I'm thinking like, in the mini cooter, the, the battery's in, in the boot. I don't know if you knew that, John. Oh. Right, but what happens is there's a plastic cover, you take it off. So what I've done was I've, I've threw the fucking wig off into the back of the motor, right? And uh, I've, I've thinged that with the battery connections, tightened them up, and next time I'm jumping, it started, and I'm off, right? So I'm driving along fucking the uh, uh, slow high street and into Brittle, up into Brittle Estate where the Mars Bar Sweetie factory is. And as I couldn't behind me blasting the horn, like fuck, blast the horn. I'm, I'm thinking of somebody for the bank chasing me, right? But what had happened was the jack had slid across as I took the bend of the, of the road and it shorted the fucking battery and set the wig on fire. So the, <laughs> this is true, the fucking smoke's belts into the back, didn't we? So the next thing I'm, I'm going onto the motorway and this shall be cobra, that's, that's a fancy car in the days. That comes alongside me and the guy goes like, Oi, mate, your fucking car's on fire. And I went, like, oh, thanks very much. I stopped to fucking put the fire out. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first bungle job, right? The second one was, uh, there's a turn in the, the Mars Bar Suite factory, an engineer, in fact, it used to do work for, for Mars, right? I get, I, get, I get time for this, by the way. That was the last time I told you when I get into Leicester and uh, Oxford, Nick. But what happened was, the. Uh, uh, I planned it, we, I sold a, a, an 1800 getaway car, right? And I cut a hole during the night in the Mars Sweetie factory, the car park. And I sewed it with, like, light thing. So as you ripped that, you know that mess you get? So as you could rip it away quick. Mm -hmm. I sewed it with this kind of uh, cloth material. Like, uh, you could pull it apart. Like, you know what like people, uh, will, what people do, thing was right, right? So as nobody would notice that there was a hole cut in the fence if you get there, right? right? So what happened was I get in there anyway and I've got a gun and I walks into the office. That, 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 I couldn't put me on to this way, right? But, and what happened was uh, I felt the, the, the secretary and, the, and this other guy out there left and I went like this cunt uh, towards up to get the briefcase. And the briefcase is a spitting image of that there, I'll show you. See this briefcase here? Right, briefcase, there's X, but that's on my plate, that's like a safe and it's got a security number on it, right? But what I didn't know, he's got a fucking chain on it, there's 17,000 quid on it, and he's taken me for, Mar uh, for, there, for the engineer factory out there, Mars, right? I never, uh, the, the cunt had put me on it, he never, uh, he never told me there was a handcuff to the chain. 
So as I'm as I'm be making my way out to get the thing way right, the door's got one of the hydraulic things. It's an old fashioned thing that shuts the door slow. Do you know what I'm talking a about? Big hinge, right? Ah, it's a hinge, hinge like, but it's outside the door. And I've turned around and threw it somebody behind me. So the next thing this cunt to the left, he threw a fucking typewriter off me, and the typewriter bounces off my head. So I've had to abandon the thing way, right? And I bolted it. Into the 1800s, uh, started that, but the key under the seat, started that. Drove to the hole in the fence, through the hole in the fence, and into my Mini Cooper, right? And I came to this thing we on the Brittle Estate, where there was a couple of cars behind this bank, and I'm blasting the horn with these cunts to get out the fucking road. It was a serious crime squad, wasn't it? They were clocking and they clocked my number on the mini. We all bought the num number off of Victor Fox, they're all grasses by the way. Mm -hmm. They're the suicide, you know. And uh, that's who I bought the mini off. He'd the scrap here in the Carlton, the old Victor Fox at the time, you know. But the, the Scotland Yard must have uh, traced the car back to the scrap yard, right? I got it running, this is running, I got it. And uh, they sent two Scotland Yard officers up and they, they, they flew me down to London. And they handcuffed me, they wouldn't, they wouldn't take the handcuffs off me. They gave me a brandy because I couldn't go on fucking planes. But, but while they were on the plane, we had to come in at a gap back, I think it was one of the engines shocks. It was all engines with the propellers on mm -hmm. them, you know. But uh, that was the, that was the fucking, what, what I call the Keystone Cops one. That was a fucking classic. How long did you get? Uh, well, I'd done three years, but I think, I can't even remember. So it's that fucking long. I think they gave me about four or five. No. But I was in there. That was the time I told you I met Diana Dawes' man and no. uh, Leapy Lee and all them. He'd the number one hit. Uh -huh. uh, little Harris and all the cons were all wind them, wind them up. Because uh -huh. in Oxford, like, it's no way you look baloney. It's fucking me, Harris, you bought on your, on your fucking uh, your you your thing there, gear. But basically, that's it, you know. I've got no bad uh, day, so I'm going to paint this wall. I've got the uh, first monster of Scotland, by the way. And the oh, she's doing this cover up, fucking everything, John. You know what I mean? See every move that I've made here. Her and Alex Sam and Jack McConnell, they've all covered up every fucking, every single move, you know. And you'll never get justice in this country because the system run their cell. They're all for their own folk, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's the same with art, Rolling. I tell the art, the, the kids on the internet, there's some fucking fantastic artists, you know, really good artists on the internet, but they'll never get any money. You've got to be in that, it's like equity in acting. You've got to be in that clique, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's a bit like the that film years ago, that the, what do you call it? The Wicker Man. See, if you look at that, you'll see Tony Roper on it, and you'll see fucking uh, that big fat cunt that was in fucking uh, thing with Robico Train and uh, Peter Mullen. They're all wee boys in that film, you get mm -hmm. me? But they're all part of that band, David Heyman and all, I think he was in it here. And... Uh, there's a fucking vast amount of people. And all the English actors, that bird that used to go with Rod Stewart's in it too, you know. But basically that was it. But that, that was a that was a laugh of Tommy Cooper's joke show. What's this fucking cost of living all about now, Jimmy? Eh, uh, John. <laughs> See, during the week there, I've got the cut in there, right? There's, there's yesterday's tater. Uh, she's telling you to stay home. Like right, Sturgey. Gets carpets fitted. 25,000 quid, right? I told you doing this there, right? Now, I must have been a fucking deer carpet. Now, there yesterday, Boris, he's got a... Uh, two he, big... He, giant... He's in Greece. Is he? He's on Greece, isn't he? Is right? he? Aye, but he's got two giant... Fo fo i seen that. He's got, he found a private beach and nobody knew who he fo how he found it. Aye. But uh, he's all connected. They're all connected with, the, with each other. All over the world. Mm -hmm. And it gets back to the poof days. See the poofy Frenchies with the big wigs and all that? It goes back to the email shagging each other and the uh, Rabbi Burns and all that, right, you know. Did I tell you about Rabbi Burns? No. Right, me and Nancy, this is a classic, by the way. Me and Nancy, we decided to go down to air. This is about 20 years ago, right? And uh, I, 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 I went in there to speak a tale, had her done or not. And I said, man, we're we'll going to see this Burns Scottish now. So we're up there and there's fucking big tourist buses pulling up. And it's all Yanks and all that. They're not these fucking uh, big American hats on and that. And they, uh, no, they fucking sombreros over here, you know. And they, uh, I'm like, I'm walking through that. I thought it was fucking dead boring, by this is boring me to fuck, you know. And uh, so we're going through into this wee back bit, and there's a wee alcove in the middle. And I noticed there was an electrical switch going down, and it looked like a 50s one, you know. Uh, the old kind of thing they saw it on it. 
and the other Yanks are coming in, and he's the, the the tourist guy. He's saying, "Yeah, this is where this is where his bun, buns his bed was. This is the, where his alcohol, but like single ends of Carlton years ago, you know, and the cabins and all that. This is where his uh, where his his bed was and that. And I turned around and I went like Nancy, boy, Nancy, that must have been the plugged his electric blanket. And, oh, you want to see the fucking tourist one? They went like that. They were all staring at me around. But it's just, you know, it's my sense of humour, as you know, John, you know? Oh, and the uh, tourist guy went, oh, I think you've got to leave me. He said, well, now do Couldn't the congregation. I said, I'm only fucking kidding with that. But uh, is there no Scotch humour? Are you always talking about beef touring, hoor, and beasties? Which they are anyway. They're all fucking shagging each other. <laughs> I mean, let's... I mean... Everybody se celebrates that New Year every year, and uh, we all acquaintances be forgotten. They're all stabbing each other's fucking back, man. Mm -hmm. Government punters. They're scared to say one thing about another because it's going to expose that and this. Look what I could do to them. I could bring a whole lot of them fucking down. They're trying to figure out how a wee guy for the Carlton's met the Queen of England. I met the Queen of England twice, right? They're trying to think how I've met Mick Jagger, my mate, they're lived up oh, there. You've you seen him with the lines. Uh, that was just behind you there, Blue Foley. He was one of the Queen's Guards. Yeah, I'll show you again just a minute. And I met Princess Diana through this guy, you know, through Lou. He was one yeah, of the I've Queen's... seen him last time. Uh, yeah, yeah. I used to drive his Lincoln Continental, you know. Uh -huh. By the way, for you young as don't know what Lincoln Continental, I see the latest uh, KFC advert. You see the big red... A American car comes through the wee side back window and that. that's the same car as I drove it mm -hmm. Blue, you know? oh, Colonel Sanders and Lou and introduced me to Mick Jagger uh, Peter Stringfellow and all the top guys in England by the way you know what I mean there wasn't a what about the, uh, the jacket you showed me was it Bondies you were saying uh, Deborah had to come up there it's there Deborah had to come into my studio in the West End years ago so did David Cameron but uh -huh. They come in at they come in much different steps. That's cool. They come in at different times, different times. But everybody, everybody wants to try this. But there's a, there's a thing there. That's a autograph. Take it over a bit, Jim. Over here, aye. Take your jacket off so we can see it. And did Bondy actually wear that? Aye, uh, that was Bondy's jacket. Uh huh. I put that by this thing. That should be in some museum or something, in some work museum. All the dealers are trying to buy it off us now, you know. Uh -huh. That's my old house up there in the Carlton, have you seen that? Oh, see Craig Nuss, Craig Nuss of Galveston, aye, Templeton's, aye. Me and I laugh here, bro, right? Me and my brother, I don't say what one, right? We're up there, and I we're hooking this shake, the CID. So, we get milk bottles in my throat, and the CID, but they're like, what the fuck are they? They didn't know where they let the guy go, and the guy fucking scampered. <laughs> So how did you come into possession of the coat then? Uh, she walked into my studio with her band uh, years ago. Uh, Nancy's got a rot of grip and all. That's years and years ago. There, 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 there it's there to JD. When they, you know. Uh -huh. uh, she walked in and she left it. She actually left it in the in uh, in my studio up in the uh, the West End. I used to rent a studio with a guy in Great Western Road, like you know. And uh, uh, she actually left a coat, but everybody that comes up here, all the guys want to fucking try it on. I thought I showed you that last time. Ah, I never get rid of it. Deborah Harry. Ah, I will uh, never get back to it. No, they've all tried it. They've all tried it on. Who's this guy of ever blood, Jim? That Who's see that painting, there? John. You can right. fucking believe this or not. That painting there. I'd done that three days before that cunt went and burst out. Made the pole shot him. Right. Before that guy went fucking berserk, I'd done that paint. I don't. We're a guy, I've shot quite a I've few in it. St. Vincent Street. Oh, when, when aye, the, in a hotel, in a hotel. Aye, during the I'd done that, and it's a fucking paint, it's a ring after him. I, I just, I don't know what made me do it. That's quite a go isn't it, man? <laughs> that's how light he fucking looked, but. Who's this here, Jim? That's the robots, that's what the government's trying to do with us. They're trying to turn us into, they're trying to robotise people, John, you know? Uh -huh. Try to turn us into robots. That's Amy. That's the wee lassie that was murdered with that fucking cunt down in uh, down south. I'll give that to the family one day, you know. Maybe Millie Dower. You see her playing the saxophone, it's a fucking liberty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, a shame. Cunt that bounce. And that's how wee lassie that was murdered with Tobin. See the far away windy there? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give that to her dad one day if I can get through. But I've done that to a lot of people. See the wee boy Chris Donald that was murdered? Oh, Amy Winehouse, eh? Ah, but there's better ones there, you know. That's Brutus up there, my dog. There's better ones I've done, John. Amy. 
and a lot, a lot of them are sold. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I, I actually copy after this one and, and, and <coughs> sell them, you know. <coughs> I'll put that light on, so. <coughs> That's all my dogs. A few years ago, you know. I like this here, man. Have you seen this? I'll show you it when I go out, right? Just remember. Uh -huh. This is a tormented one. This is a... This is a this is the way I get my anger out, right? Now I threatened to drive my water into the Scottish Parliament, right? And I like Salmon was in charge. And the country's threatened to section me under the mental health act. But my lassie was coming to the gate throwing herself for front of fucking cars. And they were making me ill, we see all these fucking briefcases of letters went sure. And that's me that's what you call an anger painting. And all the skulls in it <coughs> all the skulls in it are people of people that mama went to see the boy died, John. <coughs> this one here was me fighting years ago. That's me fighting to keep Paddy's market home. There's a jolly market there. Yeah. This is uh, this is years and years ago, you know. Well you, well, you can see that I'm a bit younger looking there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's me, I collect I collect robots. Uh -huh. That's they're actually the, they're actually the, fu the future antiques. A lot of people don't realise that that's how the antiques get it. Game's good at the game, that's a horse. Eh. Uh, that's just some fucking toys and robots. But they're all there. I have one case of letters there, but, but uh, that briefcase I showed you a minute ago where the money was supposed to be in, right? Uh, that's full of letters. And uh, there's fucking two briefcases there at the back, and there's two in the, in the thing. Five briefcases. See, I took it right out against the cops. I think I told you the last time, John. And what I done, what what they done was they, they wouldn't let the public or the media in a thing. Me, come out here and I'll show you something. They wouldn't let the public or the media and the into the the courtroom to see what was going on in my case. Let's see, uh, we I don't know if you, can you see this here, John. No, you will know me, got it, John. Wait a minute, I'll get to work. So actually, it's quite funny. Yeah, I thought it was quite humorous. But this is the way the, the establishment asked us. Uh, come on. This is the Carbon and Hobbs. So they're in man of the Daily Express, right? These are tough times for us, suburban post uh, modernists. How's how's that? How so? Uh, well, people seem to reluctantly pay for sidewalk art drawings. That's the guy that draws in the street. And say they are no, the, the, well, they, they, they are washed away in the rain. Uh, and nowadays, nobody takes money to support art. The corporation won't underestimate me because I'm famous. I'm not famous enough, right? Effectively to advertise in a cultural alignment. And he says to him, Could you support your art with another job? What? What? Work? <laughs> but during the week, John. During the week. Sorry, last week. There's a guy in that paper. I've got a cut now. I'll take all the cutting is it. 18 year old. They gave him 80,000 fucking quid to study what? Puppets. I mean, that's where your money's going. They're all fucking thing. Now there's another one in the Scottish government, an Asian woman. She's got a front desk, and her complaint was, uh, it was at the Human Rights Court, right? Uh, that she couldn't f what with the public. She couldn't face the public. They gave her forty-seven fucking thousand pounds because it hurt her feelings. That's where all your money's gone. Mm -hmm. So you're all, you're all fucking stupid. Do you can you imagine guys like us when we were young, giving us that kind of money? Be fucking millionaire. I'd be another Arnold Clark. That's true. That's that was my nickname, by the way. He'd be new banks. Do you know I get thirty days? I get thirty days for police assault, and I met my dad in Berlin. Aye, I mean you saying that. Right, and I walked down the there. I had a, a Vauxhall Crestor. Right, that's the one with the big fins on it. Looks like an American car, and the, the windscreen cover covers. It's actually worth about twenty grand now, between eighteen and twenty grand. Right, 
and had a Vauxhall Velox. That's another American style one with the kind of rune lights at the back, like you boat on a, a Corvette Stingray. I, I was buying these cars then for fucking peanuts. But I seen the artwork in them, I seen the design work in them. Mm-hmm. Whoever designed them were way ahead of their time, John, you know. But do you know I got 30 days soon, I came out. One of the cops out of the Tobago Street stole my two motors. He was into classic cars, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So how can you fucking beat that? So yeah. to me, they deliberately jailed me, do you know what I mean, John? To to, to get the fucking cars away. I, I stayed round in Green Street and I used to park them round. I think, I'm think i thinking they're safe in front of the fucking cop shop, you know what I mean? Aye. The biggest crooks in the fucking world. In fact, he told, turned to Pally Mains there. He was robbing banks. He was a cop, right? And the uh, thing, me. That was the. Uh, that was the. Uh, that's a Picasso in them. It's not a real one. See the marks there, John? Uh huh. That's. That's a uh, four inch icicle thing in here. There they're there. See all the watermarks? Oh, the other way, like. And that's a temporary the ceiling. They brought all my ceilings down. And they bust a fucking pipe there. And that's how I can't, I can't, that's how I can't accommodate my family in the house, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, they've just put us through a fucking total nightmare. But you'll never beat these cunts. I showed you that's the car in the Jimmy Boyle for them, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. And that's the car out of the, the French Connection. That's my mate, Matt McConnell's motorbike. Yeah, it's a Harley. That's, a, that's one of the best Harleys in Britain, by the way. He was at Big Alan uh, Morrison's... Uh, Funeral too. Remember Big yeah, Alec? Aye, aye, Big aye, Alan. No, Alan well, man. Aye, Alan was a cracking guy. Yeah. Aye, hey, but Stayed nice door, do you know who came up with the gate there? Uh, uh, my cousin, do you know George Walker? George Walker, aye. Aye, he came up with my, my, my gate there and I said, you're my fucking cousin. Uh-huh. I said, aye, aye, aye. See, she and the Carlton John years ago, right? I was running about with Big John G, you know, Big Gal, right? And what happened was, uh, that's Granger, my dog. What happened was, uh, I found there were too many fucking crashes around about. I mean, you were dead, you were you fucking you were stuck in, you know. So I started working out of the suicide with the big man, and we'd done a lot of good bit of business in the days. But we started going down south, taking cars down and that. What we'd done was done a few tricks down there, you know. Uh-huh. And uh, we found we were getting on better off down there. But the thing is, uh, you, a lot of cunts that can't just didn't like you. You know, there's a lot of cancer. Yeah, so like uh, don't uh, wait to see counting people getting on. No, that's that's what even counting people. Uh, that's what, what I'm saying, John. I know. Uh, I know. You'll always hear that, you know. Mhm. Ah, uh, you'll uh, be there all the time. Uh, I heard Big Peril Black died. Is that right? Who? Yeah. Big Peril. Did you know the black? Aye, uh, well, I seen George Walker at Peril's oh, funeral. Aye, aye, aye. I seen uh, you, Big Peril. I spoke to her about five weeks ago. Uh, uh-huh. That day I came round and see you. Mind? Mm-hmm. Mind that day mm-hmm. I came round at your house. I can't remember what I was round for. 